folks check it out. Um, just my local dumpster. And what do I see? I see six huge slabs of meat that have come from Uruguay. A bit about me, I'm half French, half English. Grew up in London, great to be back in Scotland. I did three years down the road at Edinburgh University where I did zoology. Before moving on to Denmark, where I studied um, climate change. I'm a food waste campaigner based here in Copenhagen. For the last two and a half years via an urban harvester, I've been working hard to reveal supermarkets' dirty secrets by dumpster diving and spreading that photography on social media networks. So the concept is pretty simple. Instead of going into the supermarkets I used to shop, I'm now going round the back and seeing what's available in the dumpsters. Hey folks, it's Matt and Urban Harvester here. I've got to be quiet because the employees are just inside. I can hear them. But let's go check out this graveyard. It's pretty sad. We got some cows, all of this fed on GMO soybeans from Latin America. We're destroying, you know, the Cerrado and the Amazon rainforest, all for this in the trash. But let's check this one. Oh, Damn, yes. Wow. Oh, we got some mushrooms. I like mushrooms. Yeah. Uh, let's get them. Orange for some juice from Spain. I think I'm going to come. Yeah, come in, come in. Make yourself at home, I mean. <laughs> yeah. Avocado. Avocado. Where they come from? They from, come from Kenya. Oh, wait. And, and look, look, important. No discount sticker. Our food system is, is, I don't know if people have told you that, but I just learned it recently. It's an hourglass. So basically, you've got a lot of farmers, a lot of manufacturers, and then you've got a lot of consumers. But then you've got, in this country, for example, only five or six companies. An oligopoly. So a few main actors who dominate the whole system. I found, you know, in a small supermarket in Copenhagen, 157 packets of bacon. That's 35 pounds worth of bacon, five pigs worth of bacon. <laughs> Every single fruit and vegetable you can think of is in the dumpster. So, you know, the leeks, the limes, the lemons, the oranges, the red peppers, the potatoes by the bucket though. Beanie, a ham, two candles and some boxes. Perfect pre-Christmas tree. Did you know that between a third and a half of all food produced on this planet goes to waste every single year? I mean, that is just crazy. That's 3.3 trillion pounds of food or 1.5 trillion kilograms of food. The food waste was a country, it would be the third largest greenhouse gas emitter behind China and the United States. You're right, it's an astonishing statistic. And if you actually convert that into global greenhouse gas emissions, we're talking 10% of annual emissions come from food waste. So I was just like, wow, God, if you could sort food waste out, or at least sort a lot of it out, you could sort out climate change, you could sort out the ecological crisis. You've got 700 million people who are going hungry, you could sort that out. Is if this is all happening in one of the most sustainable countries on the planet, Denmark, what on earth is happening across the rest of this planet? So when I got uh, the invitation from COP to speak um, about supermarket food waste, I reached out to my network. I said, folks, what are you seeing in your local supermarkets wherever you live? La France, baguettes and croissants in the dumpster, how dare they? The United Kingdom, uh, the COP26 host. On the left-hand side, we've got an urban harvester in Northern Ireland from Marks and Spencers. On the right-hand side, Tesco from the inside from a whistleblower. The United Kingdom is one of the hardest places to dumpster dive or skipping, as it used to be called in British culture, because supermarkets go to such great lengths to, to hide this stuff. They have specific refrigerated rooms to hide this food waste from homeless people and students to then turn all this food waste into biogas. Quite frankly, turning this perfect food into biogas or uh, waste for energy, as they call it, is very inefficient. For example, a ton of tomatoes will only retrieve 0.75% of the total energy that went into growing those tomatoes in the first place. Matt, you're a young person and you are clearly uh, deeply involved in the amount of food that we waste, the impact it has on the environment, the impact it has on climate change. Uh, we are seeing more and more young people get involved in this battle. How important is it for 
youth around the world to get involved. I'm delighted to see so many youth getting involved, uh, and, it's, and it's fantastic, and it gives me hope. All over Denmark and the West, the waste. Unbelievable.